Okay. All right, so are we back? So hey, we're welcome back to the Offbeat Business Show. This is Susan. This is Pam. And we are talking about reputation building, problem solving. We're going to talk about some uh, client retention also because mm -hmm. how many of you are really paying attention to your customer and client base. Mm -hmm. I really hope you are. I hope you're just loving that group of people mm -hmm. because that, uh, what's the average life of a customer? You know, mm -hmm. we, they, they actually have lifespans mm -hmm. with your business mm -hmm. and if you will really value that relationship, it is not just a one-time encounter, but actually up to five years. Correct. Um, I've had clients that I've had for almost 10 years. I've uh, been in the, that industry for a long time. You know, I think that one thing that that I've learned the hard way as far as um, client retention goes is, and we talked about it a little bit at the beginning of the show, face-to-face -face time. Mm -hmm. And um, in my in my promotional products business, a lot of times I have to order samples for people. And so a lot of my colleagues, they ship, even though they're in the same local area as their client, they will courier those samples to their client or they'll ship them to their client. And I take every opportunity to be face to face with my client, even if it's just to deliver a 50 cent pen sample, because right place, right time has delivered many opportunities that I believe I would not have had, had I not been in their office. And the face to face time puts you in, in their face. It doesn't matter how much they love you, you have to be present so that they physically remember well, that's you. that's a relationship also. You're a taking, relationship. You're taking it yes. to that other level. I'm exactly like that. If I order pens for mm -hmm. one of the clients I'm working mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. or, you know, and mm -hmm. I just, I love having you as a resource. I love mm -hmm. knowing, I do, mm -hmm. I just really mm -hmm. dig that because I, I'm, that, I'm that person mm -hmm. to them. I'm yeah. gonna make sure I bring that to you. I'll drive out there, it'll give me a few yes. minutes. And I, you know, I'm not stupid about my time. I'll right. manage some of the same things I need to do in that area. Right. But it is important mm -hmm. just to have that uh, touch base. Mm -hmm. But um, how do you, you know, there's the, people get sick of emails. You know, mm -hmm. they get, when we had talked earlier about use, you know, email's great for lead generation mm -hmm. and client mm -hmm. retention, mm -hmm. but after about six months, mm -hmm. you're pretty much not going to get opened unless mm -hmm. you do some things that really retain that right. relationship mm -hmm. and go back and reach, which, once mm -hmm. again, if you don't have an email service, you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know if they quit opening your emails. Right. That is something you need, really need to check weekly right. and, and know what those stats are mm -hmm. on it. But uh, all of that is part of, repu of building your reputation. Mm -hmm. is, is having that full on, uh, well, I call it Izzy mm -hmm. Explain see, what that is. I see, kind of cool. mm -hmm. I see you out there. I see you out there. I want to be familiar mm -hmm. to people. And mm -hmm. if wherever they are online, mm -hmm. now I like to have a video option. I like to have audios. Mm -hmm. I like to have blogs. Mm -hmm. I like to be, because mm -hmm. every. Everyone in my realm of influence has mm -hmm. a different way they like to be communicated with, and right. I hope it's I'm serving point. it up in mm -hmm. their in their preferred method. Right. If I don't go to that effort, mm -hmm. I, I really risk mm -hmm. missing an opportunity to, to communicate. Yeah, it's a great point. Mix it up. People learn differently. Yeah, people, absolutely. People engage differently. So, and I'm kind of having an aha moment about myself right oh. now, Susan. So thank you so much. Oh, um, all checks in the mail. Um, <laughs> I realize that I need to do that. I can't just. Obviously, I don't just do the email because I get on my little tiny, my tiny, ginormous soapbox about that. But um, video and doing some other things because not everybody likes to be engaged via reading. So that would be your blog or your newsletter. Some people want to watch a video. Mm -hmm. Some people want to do it in a, maybe it's through a webinar. So there's a, many different ways you need to be engaging with your clients to to grow that reputation and keep that retention going. True, but for any business, now we're particularly, we're in marketing and mm -hmm. we're in sales. So mm -hmm. we're, we're doing, we're that kind of a business. Mm -hmm. um, and we're out here supporting businesses that are not doing, I, I, I have other marketing people that I, that I work with, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, but but we also work for your brick and mortar businesses right. in town. Mm -hmm. and, and our entrepreneurs. Yes, mm -hmm. and, that are doing all types of things. Mm -hmm. And this is actually wise for everyone, mm -hmm. because if you can, if you can put it in a blog and you're looking at an editorial strategy, which by the way is very, very important to look at how you're going to communicate your value all year long, you know, mm -hmm. at least a month out, you guys, you got to be smart about this. But if you're going to go to the trouble to write it, 
Why not record it and mm -hmm. read it out loud? Right. Why not put that on video? Mm -hmm. You can do that all in one sitting mm -hmm. and then and share that through email. Right. And really make your life a lot easier mm -hmm. and spend a lot less time doing it. Right. And I'll just add <laughs> that then you can bundle those videos together and sell those as a product on your website. Yes. Ding, ding. Little bonus sidebar there. Brilliant, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, that is true because we got to work smart, guys. We've mm -hmm. really got to work smart. But what we want is to make, to make sure, like, okay, are you the best? Are you the best? Yes. No. <laughs> I need you to be a little more convinced. I remember having a conversation with one of our, one of my clients, um, that uh, she was arguing with her husband mm -hmm. over whether or not she had the right to say I was the best, oh, whether or not I have the That's right to say I'm great, yeah. and, and that you know because I thought maybe there'd be legal ramifications mm -hmm. of saying you're the best. And I turned really? around and I looked at, and she was just begging me to say something while I stood there respectfully. Mm -hmm. and I said, listen. I, there is no marketing for someone who's not the best. I can't mm -hmm. market. I'm kind of as good yeah. as the next guy. That's right. I might. <laughs> I, I can't help that. I'm kind of so good. I'm kind of okay. Can you okay. market? I'm kind of good. No, 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 <laughs> guys. If you're not the best, you better really get clear on what you're the best at. Mm -hmm. All right. Where is your value? If you don't know it, guys, you can't sell it. You can't show it. You can't share yeah. it. You got to know it in your knower. Mm -hmm. And it's got to exude out of your pores. Did you hear that, folks? You have to know it in, in your, your knower. knower. <laughs> in your knower. I love that. Yeah, yeah, you got you to gotta dig it deep. Yep, love it. Yes, I think that that is, you know, it took me a while to realize that, and it's part of my message to people, is it took me a while to realize that I have value to bring from my own unique experience and expertise. Yeah. There's lots of sales coaches out there. Not everyone's a fit for everyone, and you have your own you're the best at your experience. Mm -hmm. You're the best at your expertise. You're the best at that. And you have to embrace it and not be afraid to be loud and proud about it. And, um, you know, not everyone's a fit for everyone. So you're, you're, you're your best to the people that are attracted to your best, to but, your experience and your expertise. But here's where the love comes in. Okay. All right. Show if, me the you, love. if you are the best, if you are the best mm -hmm. at what you're doing mm -hmm. and you believe in what you're doing mm -hmm. and you believe what you're bringing to the table, then if some if you if if you don't convince in this showing manner not a telling manner but a showing manner if you don't do everything in your power to secure a relationship with a customer a client and, and retain that relationship if you don't they're still going to have that same need they had and they're going to go somewhere else and there's a very good chance they're going to be working with somebody who's unscrupulous. Mm -hmm. Somebody who maybe doesn't have your level mm -hmm. of value that you bring mm -hmm. to the table. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about rep reputation building, all of that really comes full circle into getting that. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've really got to be able to, to bring that around. So it's those little things. It's the note. It's the phone call. Mm -hmm. It's the willingness to be involved in I see you out there marketing. Mm -hmm. You've got to be able to mm -hmm. be, be available in these social locations so that you become a familiar brand. Right. I agree. I agree. Familiar and likability and yes. all of that and really bringing that, that value to the table. I agree. So we're going to wrap it up here in just a minute. And next, in, um, next week's show, Susan, tell us what you're going to be talking about. I'm going to go, I'm going to dig into lead generation again for small business because we've really got it. This is, this is the time and you know it. If you don't have a campaign strategy for holiday season, this is the time to start putting that baby together. And we want to make sure you are prepared because as we have said, and we will continue to, to just nail it home. Mm -hmm. We want you guys really making some money and blowing the socks off the American economy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing changed. There's a reason why Walmart and all those other stores start decorating for Christmas. I was in one of those stores recently and they already have Christmas stuff out. And um, there's a reason people start doing that now, holiday season. It's a big time for small business, can be, if you plan right. So we're going to share about that. So anyway, we, as we go on, we want to talk. make sure you're aware that we do speaking engagements and that you can reach us uh, on offbeatbusiness.com and learn more about how you can contact uh, Pam Russell or myself, Susan Hamilton, and we'd be happy to share with your group. Uh, in many different ways, and yes. so go check that out. Uh, the promote the presentation that I want that I think is so so important right now for small business and nonprofits is five five things you absolutely must know for an effective email marketing strategy. 
So please stay in touch with us so that we can share the very best with you. Uh, this is Susan. This is Pam. And this is the Offbeat Business Show.